heads can't see each other. It's weird, I don't like it. I like it though. It's funny that you don't like it, yeah. but I like it. It's funny that, isn't it? My hair's a mess. Right then, so food challenge time. Not your normal food challenge for this channel. No. I, can't, I find it really odd. Who's going to speak? It's, it's, it's hard, isn't it? It's a bit weird, isn't it? We can sit here. Should we sit back? Because we're not doing it. <laughs> The reason for this is that we are going to do a food challenge where we are going to make a quiche. Quiche. Using Lodo, because we just went to Lodo. We're going to try and recreate the quiche, or a, a good quiche, um, that we had when we were there. Uh, and Laura doesn't know this yet, because she's not home yet, but she's going to taste test them and decide who's the winner. Yeah. I don't know how to make a quiche. You don't know how to make a quiche. I'm good at, <coughs> at cooking. I, to be fair, I've never made a quiche in my life. But you've just sent it to the video with uh, one of the guys from Lodo explaining how, how to, to make well, a quiche. Well, roughly. I sit you say explain it, give the ingredients and yeah. give a rough idea. I mean, I don't know anything. But yeah, so it's basically like a great British bake-off. But it's, it's not going to be great. It's definitely not great. We are British, though. Yeah. That's I've just it. realised I'm going to... Uh, Preheat the oven. Cut that there. Preheat the oven. Oven's on. What temperature do you want on mic? 200. <laughs> he wouldn't know, would he? I can't roll mine out if you've got the wrong one. But it, again, it depends how... Um, thick, deep How it is. thick, deep it is. Yours, so like, yours, might take about different times. You're pretty thick, so, you know. Well, I'm not though, am I? Well, I seem to beat you at every single fucking quiz that we have. That's because you just shout out every single answer. Yeah, the correct ones. No, always the correct ones. Yeah. I beat you at every quiz we've ever done. Right, well, I'm going to get started. While you're rolling that out, I'm going to get started making my... Um, base. My base? Is that a, no, it's not a base, is it? It's the... Fucking hell. The lid. You don't know you're asking me a fucking elbow. We're not going to... Um, we're not too fussed about calories for this. It's just purely on taste. But obviously, with all the ingredients we're using, it's going to be an element of... It's going to be low-calorie anyway, because we've got the Lodo base, we've got eating cheese, and we've got low-fat creme fresh, which Mike didn't know we needed. So, you know, well... I'm fucking happy with that. You're happy with that, So far, you? yeah. See, the good thing about this is now is that I know how many eggs down to use. Can you um, pass me the fork, please? Unless he's taken some fucking out. Like, no, no. just to throw Imagine me off. Imagine that if I have. To throw me off. <laughs> Fuck. But I don't know if you put whole eggs in or just egg whites. Ah, I just throw it away, you see. You don't know. What do I do? I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. Definitely doing four. Because Dad was on four. I mean, I might be throwing off the scent. Like you said. You can't be sure. That will do. See, I don't know if Dad whisked it. I don't know if Dad whisked it, so that suggests to me they didn't use any yolks. Can I have the creme fraiche, please? <laughs> what? what are you laughing at? Nothing. Dude. Surely the creme. It's going to split, isn't it? They talk about splitting. What's going to split? I don't know. <laughs> Do You're going to fucking ruin me. So you've right. got the advantage because you do it first. It's a crime fresh. I, I why, have I got, why is that an advantage? What are you talking about, me? Because you're fucking going to throw me off the scent. How can I do that? I thought you were clever. Th this isn't a... This what isn't mean? a test of intellect. Right, I, can I just say I've never made a quiche in my life? I'm just going to say that now for the record. Never made a quiche in my life. Never, ever. Is it rolling me right now? Yeah. He said I had to roll it out, didn't he? I mean, I have got the bigger tin as well. And he said you should only get a small tin. I don't think he did though, did he? Seven inch, he said. I mean, that's fucking massive if you ask me, but... Yeah. Oh my god, it looks fucking hanging. Have you done the same as me? Sure, mate. You, have you done the same as me? No, you done about me. Right, how do they rescue it? <laughs> Can I have some cheese, please, Daniel? Yeah. There we go. I don't think that's going to rescue it. Does Laura like quiche? <laughs> <laughs> no. Imagine if she didn't. It's not going to fit. It's a crustless quiche, mine is. Is he panicking through there? I need salt and pepper, please. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the salt's holding the board up. Alright, we'll just direct my hand to it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Snap the lid off. I don't think the lid was on. 
unless I just don't know my own fucking strength, mate, which is potentially the case, I'll be honest. See, mine's too small because there's not enough mix to go with it. I'm hoping it's gonna rise and it's like an egg. Not confident. You're not? No. Just because of the, 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 the rim thing. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready for a pan over, mate. Okay. Should we re reveal? <laughs> yeah. Reveal and then pan over. Okay. We'll get a reaction. <clears throat> Got them. Three, two, one. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm out of line now. What? Yeah, I mean, you've had to do that, I suppose, haven't you? Crimpy, crimpy, crimper. I'm yeah. hoping with the eggs it's gonna rise. <laughs> yeah, see this is the bish I've got here. Mine didn't quite touch the edge there, look. So there's my one. Mike's is here. I mean, they look pretty similar. They, they look like peaches. Yeah, we'll see when they come out of the oven now. Time just went off, mate. Is your quiche ready? I don't know, mate. Can you have a look? Yeah. Come on, Master Chef Ainsley. No, not ready. Not ready. Oh, I don't know. It's looking fucking good, though. In it. Mm. Too much of a wobble. It's still wobbly, mate. Isn't it? Too that? much of a wobble, that. I tell you what, it's looking good, though. Mm, it's not, yeah. Still needs a little bit. A little bit, but yours is thinner, so yours is gonna set That's a little bit. Five there, minutes, I reckon. Five for you, maybe ten, fifteen for me, I reckon. You know, because I've made that many quiches in my time. <laughs> It's for experience, eh? Yeah, it's my middle name. Keith. Mom's got a lisp. <laughs> I think mine might be ready. Dan thinks it's ready to take from the oven. Where's Mary Berry when you need her? Dead, isn't she? Oh, that doesn't look ready to me, though. It is, mate. Look, it's a brown look there. That yeah. just, needs to set, just needs to rest now. Well, you're leaving it to rest? Yep. Anemic on one side. Are you for real, mate? You. Are you for real, mate? It's only anemic on top. Dan. Ever else, am I right? Dan is fucked up his quiche. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look bad actually, that mate, to be honest. Exactly. We'll see what Laura says though. She's got to rate it on presentation and taste. Do you reckon? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you loosening it? Oh, I want to be fucking. I need to get a good view of this, mate. Because you are only going to mess this up. Is that what you think? Is that what you think of me? What do you think of me? Please, please fuck it up. Oh. I mean, it, I mean that it's looks not like... that quiche. It looks like a fucking pizza, mate. Uh, right, hang on. I just had to make do with the base I had. Why, why are you making excuses up already? Make do. Mate, it I'm looks like a pizza, that. mate. I'm happy with that. Egg pizza. I'm happy with that. I'm You're happy with that? I'm happy with that, mate. She's going to pick mine, mate. Yeah. Mine's going to win. We'll see. We'll see when we it comes We will see. Happen. Yours will fun there, won't it? It's only small, not Yeah. It's only small, isn't it? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Not see, you went for four eggs in yours, didn't you? Yep. I went for two and two whites. Why would you do that in a quiche, mate? You need the fat to hold it all together, congeal it. Is that why? Yeah. Hey, I tell you what. It's looking better now, to be fair. I reckon that's pretty close to being done, mate. Oh, it's dense. It's fucking denser than Joey Essex. That is looking good. Do you know what I might do? Grill the top of it, mate. Unnecessary. Is it, though? Yep. What? Completely. To give it that finish on top? Yeah, I think it's unnecessary. Mine's better than yours. It's not. It is. We'll see. But I'm going to have a job on getting that out of the fucking tin. Yep. <laughs> That's going to be, I think they call it laughing stop. I think that's what they call it. And if you're wondering, this is Ribena. Yeah. Yeah, that right there is Yeah, Ribena. it's Ribena from Spill It Down in a Car. Course, yeah. yeah, there's probably some built on knocking about as well. <laughs> uh, I was covered. It's actually disgusting when I was looking at myself. Are you getting a key shot or what? I don't want to be pressured into getting it out too early. <laughs> that's the thing. That'll be a first. What time's Laura back? Because it's got to be out for when she's back, I reckon. I oh, should be back 15, 20 minutes. Oh, we've got plenty of time then. Mm. What did you just say? You can't overdo a quiche. I reckon you can overdo a quiche, mate. Well, if you burn it, yeah. But as long as I keep an eye on it and it doesn't burn, I don't think you can overcook a quiche. Yeah. 
You can't, can you? I don't know. We're about to find out, I think. I mean, it looks pretty over to me. Fuck, that looks like a professional one. That looks like a professional cage. Get out of there. Except for all the folded edges on it, like them. Right. right. I'm going to get it out of there. Mainly because I've been peer pressured and I'm extremely impatient. Wait, you own man, make your own decisions in life. No. Be a first. You're going to try and get that out of there, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Don't fuck this bit up, mate. Possibly the most important bit. There's no way I can get any purchase in this. Mm. Change tactic then. Remember why you picked that part? I know. You can do. You can spring it from beneath. Yeah. Be up though. Be careful. Health and safety. <sighs> Very hot that when you catch it <laughs> on your thumb. <laughs> yeah. Too hot. <laughs> Too hot that. Use the oven gloves, you we'll fucking moron. Wear rubber gloves now. Wear rubber gloves. Then. Wear rubber gloves, Dan. Why is there only one? There's still another one in the bottom of the drawer. You don't need one. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Just don't burn yourself. <laughs> this ain't happening. Just let it cool for a little bit. I'm too impatient, I've told you. It's already fucking sinking. Oh. Did you hear that? That was a lovely sound. Softly, softly, catchy monkey. Oh! <laughs> oh. Don't drop it. Oh, God. It's going to be hot. It is going to be hot. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! Top quiche. <laughs> Mate, come on, you've got to admit. It on does, aesthetics. It does look good. On aesthetics. What does it taste like though? Well, we've got to wait. That's the thing. Now, granted, I will give you points for the fact yours looks more like a quiche than mine. Right, if Laura doesn't pick mine, she's not the best judge <laughs> for this because she doesn't deserve eyes. But, because, hang on a minute, right? Think about the trays yours we had. Yours looks more of a pizza. The, tra right, the trays we had, you picked first on trays that's what I'm saying you said challenger picks that's the thing so well we'll see because so, we're at your house all I'm saying is if you get points for that presentation and I win the taste it's all down to taste yeah but it'll be out of 10 won't it so for example if I get an 8 for a presentation and a 6 for taste then we're talking 14 whereas if your presentation is deemed a 7 yeah. and your taste is an 8 then you're 15 you've won so right. it's, it's, the, it's out of 20 basically okay. isn't it? we'll see no right. pressure. Now. Right, we need mummy now really quickly to do this for us because they're still going to be slightly warm, aren't they? Yep. Oh, mummy's right. got an eating challenge. Five. Give me five. <laughs> Thank you. Daddy and Uncle Mikey have made quiches and mummy's got to try them yeah. and, and say which one's best. What's that? One of them looks like a pizza. <laughs> You're right, yeah. <laughs> How's your day at nursery? Good. Yeah, did you have lots of fun? Yeah. Who did you see at nursery? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Oliver. Sounds like yeah. a nice name. Sounds like a boy. <laughs> Um, do you mean Olivia? Do you mean Olivia or Oliver? Olivia? Uh, Oliver. Oliver. Uh, and Magnus. It's uh, another boy, isn't it? Uh, is are they all boys, are they? Uh, Brilliant. Right. I can see where this is going. We've got, we've got to go to nursery. Should we go down? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, down. Match it. Come on, Laura. Come sit down in the middle. So what we've done is we've made Lodo quiches. Bear in mind, these are quiches. So what you're going to do, first and foremost, is just judge each one on presentation before taste. So. Give us a score out of 10 for each of the quiches. I will say this one yes. is 7.5, 8 out of 10. 7.5, 8. Are we going yeah. for 7.5? We'll eight. Go, eight, 8 out of 10. We'll go in. <laughs> this one, mm, from this side, it looks good. Okay. I mean, I'm no Mary Berry. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, this side, you know, looks a bit. Troopy, if it burns. Yeah. So I'm going to give this one maybe a six. A six, so yeah. eight and six. Right. Eight and now six. you've got to try them both. So that's the first round. They do look nice though. They do look nice. Right. right. I'm going to try some as well. Can we try some at the same time? Oh, at least you're not making me eat it as fast as I can. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's the next challenge. That is a good challenge. No? Mm. Right, so is it nice? Yeah. Good. It's dry, but that's it, I think. 
I think it was a bit thicker, it probably would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think the eggs just, it's got moisture. I'm going to have moisture on the like right soon. Um, mm, yeah. Sure. It's the bacon bits that have the moisture in it, so without the bacon. Mm. Why not? It's egg, you like egg. Right. Let's see if this one's any better. Can I see this one? You do what you like. I think what we're learning straight off the bat here is tin size is quite important. Well, different tin sizes, yeah, but we don't know what this one's going to taste like yet. This one's got a two point advantage. Is it the same ingredients? Yeah. But we didn't see the ratios of what each other was using. So we had the same ingredients out, but we may have put different amounts of egg in, different amounts of cream in. Right. Oh, I see. So we don't know, we had a big board in between us. Okay. Mm. Right. It's nice and deep. <laughs> Just how we like it. Just how we like it. It's really fucking annoying. Oh, okay. It's nice and nice. Don't be giving the game away. Mmm. 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 Mm. You hear that? No more words needed, I don't think. That's beautiful. I hate this game. Beautiful. beautiful. We will have words, shall we? Mmm. Right, it's all because of the tin it's dish moist, size. It's got moisture. Yeah. It's like... Too many eggs you've done. There's some cheesy. There's some cheese in there. Yeah. Fixed. Mmm, absolutely. Mm. Stop, stop, stop that saying that now, right? It's so funny because you were so confident in the bacon part <laughs> and I was so like, shitting it. <laughs> so ratings out of 10 for the taste. Oh gosh, it's good nine. Oh my God. It's a nine. And what's Dan's? Point. No. It's gonna be a six, it's dry. I'm not gonna lie. So, so you've you've got 12. You wanna say if it's nine? So I you've got 12. I like it. <laughs> Always been your downfall, isn't it? Unfortunately. Right. This is good. It is nice, so I give So, 1712. Oh, that's a Y watch. I'm just going to say the tin size, if if they're both the same tin size. Don't blame the size of the tin, it's what you do with it. <laughs> there you go, you've not had any oh, lunch. No, that's amazing. Thank you. Pleasure. I'm just low calorie. Can we do this every day? It is low though? calorie, yeah. We could make it a habit of doing little baking challenges. Cheese we could make one. like, say, protein brownies next time. Mm. I think mine was about perfect, was it? Yeah. Well done, Mike. Thank you.